Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We are in the middle of the FabFitFun Spring 2021 edit sale and I am here with my tips, tricks, and product reviews video. I went kind of old school with this video. If you didn't see my last video, I am pregnant again, so I don't have a lot of time or energy right now, but I have been doing these videos for like three years now and I haven't missed a sale yet, so I made sure I was going to make a video. So here it is. And what I used to do when I first started making these videos is I would read the community forum and I would just read and read and read and I would make a video kind of reporting back to you what I remember from reading on the community forum. And then I started getting more and more detailed in my reviews and I would research elsewhere aside from the community forum as well. But this time I did it like I used to do it where I just read the community forum as much as possible and I'm going to let you know as much as I can remember from what I read on the community forum. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I like to record my computer screen so I can just show you all the products that are available in the sale as well. I wanted to start off actually though, I have the Ilya Lip Conditioner in Arabian Nights with me here. It is on my lips right now, so this is what it looks like. It is really like a very, very nice luxe tinted chapstick, essentially. And Ilya is a really nice, clean, cruelty-free brand that's available on Sephora. It is a lovely brand. So I am going to get into recording my computer screen right now. Okay, so here we are in my computer screen. And one of the first things I do to decide if I want to purchase a product or not is I check to see if it is cruelty-free. And my favorite cruelty-free reference site is cruelty-free-kitty.com. This is the URL right here. All of the URLs I will put in the description box below, all the links that I talk about. And this is the home page. And if you want to search, they used to have a search box right on the home page. But if you want to search a brand, you have to now click on this magnifying glass. And we're going to search Elemis because there is some news on Elemis. They are no longer cruelty free. And I thought I was going nuts, but I just read on the forum, somebody else said that this is a recent thing that they started selling in China. So Elemis is not cruelty free. So I will no longer be purchasing, purchasing products from Elemis, which is a bummer. They're a really, really lovely brand. And I'm excited that I was able to try some of their things before this happened. Um, sometimes the site will tell you when they the status changed but i didn't see it for for this one but anyway uh so this the elements is not cruelty free if, if this isn't something you're interested in no judgment at all this is actually something i started to do initially to save money and then it just becomes became something i tried to get better and better at and i am in no way perfect i have gotten weak and purchase things from my my toughest one is living proof their products work in my hair really well but they're owned by unilever so that's an example of a brand actually that is cruelty free but they're owned by a parent company that's not cruelty free so you can also decide how strict you want to get there's another example is kate somerville they are uh they are cruelty free You'll see that here, but then if you scroll down to read a little bit more, you'll see their parent company is also Unilever, and so you'll learn a little bit about that. It's owned by a parent company that tests on animals. Yes, they're owned by Unilever, which is not a cruelty-free brand. So you can decide which level of cruelty-free you want to be if you want to explore this option. There's also other resources. You just have to choose one that you find to be reliable and that holds brands to the same kind of standards that you want to hold brands to. Uh, I've found variations across different reference sites. So this is the one that I've found that I like and I agree with the most. So that is one way that I check. Another thing that I like to do is I like to check ingredients. I have kind of gotten an idea of what ingredients I like to avoid. Here and there I'll add a new ingredient. And to do that you would use skincharisma.com. So I'm just gonna go and grab, this is my cart so everything in here is going to have fairly decent ingredients, but you copy the ingredients list. So this is the Graydon Skincare Aloe Milk Cleanser. I'm just copying the ingredients list and I'm going back to skincharisma.com. And then you go to the home, this is the home page, and then you go to this link right here. It says cosmetic analyzer. 
and it brings you to this and you paste the ingredients into this little box and you click analyze product. The good thing about this website also is you can create a login and you can kind of add ingredients to your profile so you can kind of customize yourself within this site so you can learn more and more about what works for you and what doesn't. This actually does make it really easy to learn about ingredients. It feels really overwhelming, but this is a really, really great way to start if you are interested in that. So it analyzed the product. Here's the ingredient analysis results. You can see quick notes here and then ra uh, ratings by skin type. So for dry skin, it's okay. For sensitive skin, there is something in it that you might be want, want to be aware of. And I highly recommend doing this if you have sensitive skin. And then down here, there's a more of a detailed breakdown of ratings of each ingredient. And they use two resources to give the ratings. One is the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, and the other is the CIR, which is the Cosmetics Ingredients Review. So if you want to go and learn more about a particular ingredient, like let's say here, limonene, it gives a six rating with the EWG. So you go to the EWG, this is their homepage. And then if you click here, visit Skin Deep, it's their cosmetics analyzer, and you enter, oh, keeps giving me that. And if you enter the ingredient into their search engine, you can read more about that particular ingredient on the EWG site to see why they give it this rating. And you can scroll down and you can see which kinds of products have this ingredient, allergies, immunotoxicity, etc. And then if you were interested in the cosmetics ingredients review, unfortunately there's no rating provided from them for this, but let's see if we can find the ingredient there anyway. Here is the cosmetics ingredient review homepage. If you click on ingredients, you also get a search engine. Let's see if we can find anything on this ingredient here. No, no results. That's interesting. Huh, never seen that before. So let's look up citrus orantium, dulcis, orange peel oil. <laughs> let's, let's copy that and look it up over here. I really like the Cosmetics Ingredient Review because you can actually get led to peer-reviewed journal articles on each ingredient. So you see here, published report. And these are peer-reviewed journal articles, so scientists, doctors have read this, and it's the, uh, uh, well, scientists, doctors have written this, and then their peers have reviewed it to make sure that it was a legitimate scientific study that was done and is worthy of being published in a journal. And it, this is in the International Journal of Toxicology about this actual ingredient. So this is like legitimate research. This isn't just Googling and reading opinion articles. This, this, this website I really like. So that's how you can learn about ingredients. And then the next thing that I like to do, we're going to go ahead and close out of these. That is a very cursory overview of how to explore if something's cruelty free and to learn about ingredients in my cart. I am probably going to trim more. I know I'm going to, but right now I'm at $92. And the first thing I have is the Holy Frog Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. I have been looking at the Holy Frog face washes for a long time. People say really, really good things about them in general. And finally, this is one that would be really, really good for my skin type. Milky washes are great for my very dry skin. They don't foam and they're just really kind of nourishing and hydrating and they don't strip my skin. They have another one by Holy Frog in this cell. It's in the sale. It's the gel wash and that is also pretty good if you have moderately dry skin. Gel washes sometimes work for me. Sometimes I find them too drying but um, that's also a really well-loved cleanser by Holy Frog. So I'm thinking about this. It is quite pricey. I have been loving trying the Design Me products. If you've been following me, you know this. And I have a good friend who really likes this one. This was the first thing that she tried by this line. And she um, 
really, really loved it. And it kind of started her off on the brand in general. And I don't blow dry my hair very often, but I bought the Revlon um, One Step, you know, that really famous one that's the blow dry brush. And I'm excited to use it. And I think that this would be great with it. And they're a Canadian brand. I actually just noticed that. And, you know, they're Leaping Bunny certified and vegan, which also speaks to me. So I'll probably, I will probably get that. I have decided that I might as well donate to the charities that are uh, in, in the sales. So I've started just donated, donating $5 every sale to whichever char charity they have. Um, I know that Living Proof is owned by Unilever, so Living Proof is cru cruelty-free, but Unilever is not, and that kind of goes against what I try to adhere to, but Living Proof really... I really like their products. I just do. I I really do. Anyway, so this is another heat styling spray. This one I feel like would be more flexible. It's not just for blow drying, and I do use a flat iron on my hair oh, probably like six times a year. Um, so I don't know. I might not get this, but I did see people on the forum talking about they were excited to have this and uh, buy this in the sale. Some, but only one person on the forum mentioned this and they said they were super excited that it was in the sale and they're going to get it hands down. If, if they get anything, they're going to get this. So that made me happy. I do love sunblocks. I love that it's SPF 50. I love that it's a mineral sunscreen. I love that it's K-Beauty. I don't want to sound stereotypical, but I got to say I have loved practically everything I've tried that's K-Beauty. I don't think there's one thing I can think of, at least right now, that I haven't liked a lot, that I at least thought was really good, that wasn't, it was K-Beauty, I think. Yeah, I can't think of anything right now offhand. So I am definitely going to grab this. I am running out of my um, Bear Republic uh, one that I have loved, and I haven't seen it in a sale in a while. This is kind of a novelty thing for me. I've eyed this for a while. <clears throat> I do get chronic blackheads. Excuse me, my voice just went a little hoarse. I do get chronic blackheads on my nose, and I think that this would be great to use on my nose maybe once a week. Um, but it is one of those masks that people say are really, really difficult to get off and painful and, you know, don't get it near your hairline. It could really pull out your hair. I don't know. I might not get it. Um, but it's $7 and a lot of people are saying really, really good things about this one, except for the people who complain about it hurting. Um, now this mask is probably the best hair mask that I have ever used. I used it back when FabFitFun prices were a lot better. I think I got the tub of it that's like $50 for like nine bucks. And I was just blown away at how soft my hair felt. I even when I would use it, it would feel like I had just gotten my hair cut. Like my ends would feel so healthy and it it's really, it was amazing. So I'm curious to get it again and if, if I still feel that way or maybe my hair was just really thirsty at the time because I never used hair masks but that was my impression I really really loved using this uh this hair mask and if you've never used tried the living proof products they do have a distinct smell I kind of just describe it as a salon fresh clean scent it's not really it's not floral it's not you know beachy there's it's just it's kind of nondescript um, well, that it's not nondescript. I just described it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then lastly, I will probably delete these, but I do find myself in situations where having something like this would be really cool. I, I bet like particularly traveling or camping, if you camp a lot, I would say go for it on this one. This is just the big showerless body wipes. I try to refrain from buying wipes in general because they're wasteful, but these I think could come in handy sometimes. So I might hang on to these just to have in life. They would probably last me like five years. Okay, so like I said, I will probably dump um, some of these things. Although looking at it right now, of course I want it all. I want it all and more. But yeah, right now I'm at $92. And so that's my cart. I wanted to, if you're newer to Fun, just go over a couple of tips to 
navigate the sale, especially if you're seasonal and you're frustrated that you feel like, you know, everything's out of stock once the sale window for you comes around. Something that a lot of people do is they add things to their favorites by hitting this little heart button right here. So I'm going to add a couple of these to my favorites so I can show you an example um, of what I'm talking about. And so when you heart them, you can just go to your favorites to refresh to see if they're available here instead of scrolling through the entire sale hoping that you'll stumble on it being available so that is a really useful tool um, and you just hit refresh hit refresh hit refresh and when something becomes available you grab it right away be fast because other people are doing the exact same thing hoping to get it um, and then also this search feature right here is really really helpful that's something that people use um, you know, they'll have a list of products they're hoping are available or brands they're hoping are available and they'll just jump on and they'll search that right away. That's why certain items will just sell out so fast. Um, something new that they're doing are these daily deals where I guess they're introducing new products every day that are um, available. Um, on sale I don't know I don't really understand exactly how it works to be perfectly honest but people are talking about it a lot and um, there there's that I don't know anyway that's all I got there so let's just jump into those are my tips on navigating the sale and obviously they have all these categories if you wanted to filter what you're looking at by a certain um, topic or category uh, so let's just go into the entire sale and I'm going to tell you everything I can possibly remember. So Mighty Patches, they are well loved, people talk about them all the time. Certain ones are good for different things so you can look at the, definitely look at the description to see if this one is something that you need for yourself. Um, sponge gels. People really love sponge gels. I'm not a fan of stuff like this but if you are curious about different scents, and different ones that are available, you could go to the forum and um, ask a question or start a poll. The forum thread that I'm following for this sale that's most active is the Spring Edit Sale Carts 2021. I will link it in the description box below. So you could go there and you could ask your question. You could start a poll, like I said, and that's the best way to, I feel, to kind of get a sense of what people recommend the most that you buy. Um, so you could do that if you're debating between scents of the sponge gels. People really like the sponge gels. Um, here is the famous unhide, uh, <laughs> stop. Okay, my husband's making me laugh. <laughs> okay, here is the famous unhide, uh, blanket. It is really, really well loved and people are after these. Um, I'm surprised to see this still in stock actually, but I have two and to be honest, I don't love it. I will tell you what I like and what I don't like. So what I like is that it is incredibly soft. It's supposed to be um, fake chinchilla, which if you've ever pet a chinchilla, it's the softest animal I have ever had the pleasure of petting. But um, so it's so soft. What I don't like, it's and it's warm. What I don't like is that it is small. I don't think that this has the, I don't see the dimensions. It's small. It's not, it, you know, it barely covers, it covers me from like my boobs to my feet basically. Um, so, and just to my toes, it doesn't go much further. It's not very big. I think it's like maybe five feet by, I can't remember, but anyway, it's on the small side. And then also my biggest pet peeve about it is it's basically like two pieces of fabric that are sewn together at the edges. So it's not made in a way where that won't slide around. So it doesn't stay perfectly square or rectangle. The two pieces of fabric are like independent of each other and it slips around and it really, really actually drives me kind of crazy. <coughs> so for that reason, I have actually, I have two and I have one that I, we decided to open and I really regret it. I wish that we had left it so that I could gift it. I might even just fold it nicely and put a ribbon around it and gift it anyway, but um, because we haven't really used it. <clears throat> so that's my feelings about the unhide. That aside, people really, really love them. The black eye patches, eye patches, eye gels. Um, these are were surprisingly lovely. I have them. I used one, and um, they were very cooling, very refreshing, and they felt very hydrating. 
They were surprisingly lovely. I liked them a lot. Um, the Daily Concepts headband, I have this in pink, and it's good. You know, it's not like blow you away quality, but it's good. It does the job for what it is. You know, you use it for your skincare, this thing. Um, this, people are saying really good things about this, that it's a great scrub, especially for the price. And it was nice to actually see people actually finally talking about it on the forum because when I searched, I don't know how long ago I'm adding it to my cart right now. <laughs> um, when I searched for reviews on it, I don't know how long ago, I remember not coming up with too much. So it was nice to see people talking about it this time. Okay. I used the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Lip Treatment. I used this. I had it. I used it all up. It was very, very good. Very nourishing. Some people complain that this one leaves a white cast, and I guess those are the people who wanted to wear it during the day. That didn't really bother me. I didn't really pay attention to whether it did or not because I used it as an overnight overnight lip treatment, so I thought it worked great. It My lips were hydrated in the morning, and it, you know it helped my lipstick wear well and all of that, so I did like this. I love all things Grown Alchemist. Is it worth $14? I don't know. I feel like there are other nourishing lip treatments you can use at night that would be, that are just as good. Right now I'm using the Kopari Lip Glossy and it's been lasting me a long time and I think I paid $9 for that and it feel it's just as good, if not a little better. Um, so maybe if there's a cheaper one here you're eyeing that also has good reviews, you might just go with that. Um, okay, and then... Let's see, here's this brand again. I can tell you a little bit about this brand. I don't know about this product, but they're an Australian brand, cruelty-free, all of that. And then um, they also own the Flight Mode and Generation Clay and Generation Skin. It's the same company. One person on the forum said that they love this healing balm. It's their go-to for their blemishes. One person said that. That's all I know about that. Um, Beauty Crop, I don't know too much about their line of products. They're UK-based. Their products are made in China. Um, okay, let's see. Dr. Brandt, I just as a rule don't look at because their brand's not cruelty-free at all. Uh, so I just, I just kind of, as a rule, don't look at them because of that. Uh, I don't get mystery bundles. I've gotten three, I think, and I've never really felt like they were worth the money. Maybe I liked one thing. Um, let's see. Oh, the cocoa floss. I finally bought some and somebody on the forum did say that this floss was really thick for them. So if you're one of those people who have teeth that are tightly together, then this might be too thick for you. Like if you need the ribbon kind of uh, floss, then this wouldn't be for you. And I used it and my teeth are kind of tight together and I would agree. I'll still use it. I'll still be able to use it, but um, I don't think it's any any better than any other floss. I bought it because it's marketed to be like this, like to make flossing feel fun and like stylish, you know, which I think is great because flossing is so important and I bought it and I want to become a flosser so much. Um, anyway, so it's good. It's good floss. I don't feel like it's any better than the stuff I get from my dentist for free. Um, okay. And then, uh, this is a well-loved living proof hairspray. Let's see what else. Oh, I don't remember. I had looked up the reviews of the Stila Stay All Day Lip Good Lip for a prior sale. They're available on Sephora. Um, okay, this. People are saying really, really good things about it. Um, this uh, one of the people described it as kind of watery and fast absorbing let's see if it's water based yes it's water based so that will make it fast absorbing and then um, a lot of the stuff I've read about it is that it's really good for all over the body if you get like 
rashes from surfing, if you get blemishes on your butt, I think that's why it's called like beach bum. If you're one of those people who gets blemishes or bumps on your butt, it's supposed to be good for that. Maybe it has salicylic acid in it as well. Yes, it does. It does. So it's supposed to be good for like, for helping to heal things on your body and giving you smoother skin. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, I love the idea of these. I'm going to get some on Amazon when I run out of the Costco size box of cotton rounds that I purchased before I became more environmentally conscious. And um, on Amazon, I think you can get twice as many or more or, or even like three times as many for slightly cheaper. So I would suggest checking Amazon if you're interested in getting something like those um, reusable rounds. A lot of people are saying that this is a great crossbody bag. I am intrigued by it except for that I have a blue one from somewhere else that is practically the same. Um, one person, oh do note the dimensions. I didn't realize it's only one inch wide. That's really narrow. So this is something like if you just want to bring your, you know, your phone and a lipstick in your wallet and then that's it. And maybe your keys. Anyway, um, so people are seeing really, really good things. One person did have the zipper break on them after first use, but that might have just been a fluke because everyone else was saying great things. Uh, let's see. Oh, this hat is so raved about on the forum and I would totally buy into it and buy it except for I have an exceptionally large head and I wouldn't it just wouldn't fit me um I love the idea of these kinds of hats too you can see that there's this slit here so you can just wear your hair up while you work out and you wear a hat or something like that or even just yeah um I bought one on Amazon that's got just a headband kind of deal and then it has the bill and the headband's really really stretchy so the headband it goes up to about here and then it cuts off and that works for me because I needed it stretchier uh, to fit my unusually large head. That aside, this is a really well-loved um, hat, but if you have an unusually large head and you want something like this, comment down below and I will, um, I will respond with the link to the one that I bought. Um, okay, I looked up this brand and it's a smaller brand and, you know, they want to... I love reading about pages and they talk about wanting to make products that cater to the specific customer and all of that. So that's kind of their deal and um, they're uh, cruelty free and I mean this looks like lovely, lovely tinted cha chapstick or tinted lip balm. I hope it's really good. Uh, okay, let's see. This is more Dr. Brandt. Um, I love London Town nail polishes. Uh, I thought about getting this, but I figured I could get. Um, I want. I just want the buffer, and I figured I could get a buffer for cheaper. Ahava, I really loved Ahava. I still love Ahava. They're great, but I found out that they are no longer cruelty free recently. So I'm gonna try to um, try to steer clear of buying from them. This is. I tried the, their water hand cream and I really liked it uh, and so if you're eyeing this it's probably pretty good uh, their stuff is pretty good so um poopery people say that this works magic to <laughs> help <laughs> when you do your thing um, I haven't used this Grown Alchemist product but Grown Alchemist if you don't know is an Australian brand and they make really really great products I haven't loved everything that I've used by them. I have a whole Grown Alchemist review video of everything I've used, um, but I haven't used that product, so I don't know. Green Goo. I bought the Dry Skin Tin, and honestly, it's, it's a bomb, and it sits completely unused in my cabinet. It, we just never 
used it. So if you like balms and salves, this would could be for you. But if you're not one to go for reach for balms, um, these are super hyped. That's why I'd want to talk about it. They're super hyped. People love them, talk about them all the time. But if you're not one to reach for balms, I would I would probably steer clear of this uh, in the interest of saving you some money. Okay. Um, the thing that I saw the people saying on the forum about this is that they don't know what this smells like, but most people were saying that if they have the fig body butter, they don't like the way the fig body butter smells. So that's what I saw. I saw a couple, two, three people maybe say that on the forum. Um, so there's that. That's all I have there. Carez is a Greek company. Um, a lot of their stuff is quite nice. Their body butters have a formaldehyde releaser in them. At least last I checked, they still did. This, people are really excited about the formula, but a lot of people said that the way, uh, the, the functionality of the pack packaging is poor. A lot of people have had to cut the tip off to get it to come out, uh, to get the product to come out. So that's the only complaint there, but that the product itself is nice. I saw one person say that the Melly Rose lipsticks were a hard pass. She had a terrible experience with it bleeding and just not not working for her. And so it made her dislike the brand overall. This pistache hand cream, I bought it once and um, I was really excited about it because they have another product, I can't remember what it is, that's really hyped up because Tati talked about it at one point. But um, I didn't like it. And that I think is because it has, there's something about products that use shea butter sometimes. I don't know if it's the shea butter or what, but I feel like the common thread is the shea butter that may, there's like a hint of crayon smell to me that really turns me off. And that's how I felt with um, this one. It's not, yeah, it's like crayons kind of like wax. And anyway, so there was, a, and it wasn't the, it wasn't the primary scent. The primary scent was nice, but there was a hint of it, a hint of this smell that really bothered me. So I actually ended up, I think I still have it somewhere and I don't use it. Um, anyway, so I didn't, that was my experience with that. But people really like it though. Uh, I, I feel like I'm alone in that. Um, Kate Somerville, I've been saying they are owned by Estee Lauder, but I feel, feel like that was incorrect and it's actually Unilever. But anyway, they're one of those brands that's cruelty-free, owned by a company that's not. Um, and because of that, and I know this is going to sound hypocritical because of Living Proof, but I had fallen in love with Living Proof before I learned all about this, and I don't know anything about Kate Somerville, so it's very easy for me to just say, okay, I'm just going to stay away from Kate Somerville. Um, so, you know, we do our best where we can with um, the rules we make for ourselves with those kinds of things. Um, but anyway, so, but in general, people do like her products, I would say. Uh, and this is something that if I wasn't adhering to that, I would probably be grappling with whether or not I would want to try it. Because as I mentioned, I like milk cleansers. Okay. The Ciate London, London Glitter stuff is very, very glittery. Just be aware, super glittery. So that's all. I mean, Glitter Storm. They're not they're not keeping it a secret. Just just wanted to point that out. I have some of their glitter flip liquid lipsticks and wow, they're glittery. Um, the color switch, I like mine. It doesn't get your brush completely. What it is, is if you are doing like eyeshadow and you want to switch colors, you just rub your brush on this. It's kind of like a, a wiry kind of, not sponge, but yeah, anyway, it's kind of wiry and you rub your your brush on it and it gets off the color and then you can switch. It doesn't remove it 100%, but it helps. I think it works well. I've used it and I liked it. So um, some people say it doesn't uh, remove enough. And, and then others were saying that there's something that you can get at the dollar store that works just as well. I don't know. I don't go to the dollar store very often. I haven't had luck like other people seem to with dollar store finds. Um, okay, AG Hair. I love a lot of the AG Hair products. I used some of their shampoo and conditioners and was not 
it was not okay with them. <laughs> not that I was not okay with them. I didn't like them, the shampoo and conditioners, but I've loved their styling products that I've tried. That's my overall review of that brand. I haven't used any of the stuff that they have available on this sale. Uh, let's see, what else? There's more Dr. Brandt. Oh, somebody in the forum said that this smells like Lemon Pet Pledge, which is surprising, but uh, that's a definite hard pass for me. A lot of people were talking about this on the forum, and a majority of the people who provided a review on it said that it worked really, really well for them. Um, Sunday Riley in general is a brand. I've talked about this before. I'm sorry, sometimes I feel like a broken record if you've watched me before, but Sunday Riley, Riley I learned when they first were available in the sale. It was something between like 2017 and 2019. I'm not sure if those are the correct dates, but uh, the... The CEO, the CEO of the company was making their employees falsify reviews on various websites and they were caught and called out. And that just kind of bothers me and really turns me off. Um, I, I've used a sample of their, their Good Jeans website, which I really enjoyed using. So um, anyway, a lot of people have said that this is a very effective brightening serum. I, For me, myself, I've never felt like any kind of vitamin C brightening serum of any kind has ever helped with my dark spots. So I feel like this would probably be the same case for me with this. Um, anyway, that's, that's what I have to say about that. Um, the milk makeup stuff, this matcha cleanser, cleanser, it doesn't have the best reviews on Sephora. Milk makeup seems to be, um, kind of hit and miss and there's kind of like the people who really love it and the people who really don't love it, love it. It's, um, definitely check reviews on Sephora for milk makeup stuff. Uh, here's the AG hair conditioner that's available in the sale and like I said I use I've used two different kinds of shampoo and conditioner from AG hair and neither one that I liked and primarily was the smell one they all kind of smelled like cake and at first I liked it but it became too much um, and that was why I didn't uh, that said I have not tried this one that's available in the sale <laughs> see what else the paracone um i learned that a lot of people there's a kind of a general consensus there are some people that like paracone but there's kind of a general consensus that their stuff is overpriced crap and that paracone um md the doctor himself who found the brand isn't as knowledgeable as he comes off about skincare of course, I, I think he probably knows a thing or two, but um, and that sometimes they 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 use ingredients that aren't as effective as um, they claim that they are, or could be damaging over time. I don't recall offhand what they are, and I'm sorry about that. I usually do a lot more research, but as I said in my intro, I'm um, I I am pregnant and I'm just struggling these days, but uh, I did talk about it in further detail um, more confidently in prior videos, and I'm sure you can find a lot of information out there if you just kind of Google Paracone MD um, overpriced or, or something like that. You'll come up with uh, uh, some some articles uh, supporting what I'm saying. Okay, let's move on. Here's Mora Hava. This is a really, really loved fragrance for their hand cream. Some people were describing it as, um, it, some people said it starts off very subtly florally and then that disappears and then it becomes just like this clean scent uh, in general. Um, and their hand creams are nice. I've tried the water one, as I said, and I liked it. Uh, here's more daily concepts, the same as that headband. I have this body towel wrap. Um, that same friend I mentioned earlier gave me one of these, and it is really nice because it buttons and you don't have to worry about it falling down while you go about getting ready. Um, it's not like the highest quality towel, but it it's the, the functionality of it is great. Okay, here's the shampoo to that AG hair conditioner. Okay, let me see. Riddle oil, people are saying really good things about this on the forum and people are really excited to see it available. 
Uh, it makes me want to try it. I have seen them in um, boutique stores. I don't buy stuff on this site that is purely for fragrance just because I want to be able to smell it and my husband's scent sensitive which stinks but I, I, I need to respect that as well and try to minimize the scents that I use. Um, okay so the Grown Alchemist shaving gel I haven't tried this this is one of their products one of uh, yeah I just don't really I'm not drawn to trying it so I'm not getting it I feel like I'm one of those women I guess who when I shave kind of any old not any old I have a okay what am I trying to say I have a shaving cream from Trader Joe's that my husband and I both use we love it it works great I don't feel like I need to explore different shape shaving gels there that's what I'm trying to say and this just seems really expensive and it's that's not a lot so um it's probably nice I don't know I just I don't feel like I need to try that um, I do love London Town, London Town <laughs> lip, um, London Town nail stuff. Um, so if you're eyeing this, and you're truly thinking you're going to use this kind of stuff, you know, I buy so much stuff where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna use it, and then I don't ever <laughs> use it. <laughs> um, so if you truly know you're gonna use it, then I would recommend uh, this. The Ilya brand. This is such a lovely, elegant brand available at Sephora. Very clean, vegan, cruelty-free. Um, oh, made in Italy. I did not know that uh, they're, they're in Italy. Um, this looks beautiful. It has four solid stars on Sephora. This looks really pretty, but I have purchased, you know, liquid highlights, like things that I think are going to make me glow, and then like I just said, you know, and then I don't use it. I haven't, I have a few of those things, so I don't need to buy that. Um, oh, people are saying really good things about this on the forum, this hydropeptide facial oil. And that makes me excited because I still have one in my stash from a FabFitFun box like a year ago. I should, I should get to using it. So, um, yeah, people are saying great things about this. Timeless. People are saying really good things about Timeless Skincare. This is one of those brands who tries to keep their products high quality yet affordable and uh, you can definitely see it reflected in the re retail prices even. Um, so people are saying good things. If you're eyeing anything from Timeless, I would say give it a go. It's nice and affordable anyway. Um, let's see. Uh, what else can I say that's helpful? Uh, usually I do so much more research and I have a lot more to say. I'm so sorry. I'll get back to my old self soon. Mm. Here's the Miami Beach Bomb again. Oh, I have this. I bought this in a prior sale <clears throat> right before coronavirus, and so I haven't had an occasion to use it. I was thinking it'd be perfect to bring to our Hawaii vacations. I think it is great, though. I did try it on, and it is super functional. It turns into a tote bag if you're not using it, and that's why it has this giant pocket, like a sarong-type thing with a pocket. Ugh. Anyway... And then um, somebody on the forum said that they felt like it was really, really small, and maybe they thought it was going to be bigger. Like here, it hits this model practically to her knee, it feels like, but maybe she's fairly short, but I don't think it's all that small. To me, it kind of fits like a mini skirt, it, um, and yes, this side right here goes up kind of high onto your hip. That's why it's the kind of thing that I would only wear like on vacation in Hawaii or around the pool somewhere like I wouldn't I wouldn't wear it out out um but to me it wasn't I didn't I didn't have that same experience with it feeling like it was super small or anything um but maybe I don't know I I was surprised to hear her say that so if I were to get a moisturizing cream I don't need one at all 
I would eye this one. This is K-Beauty, available at Sephora. I think it has like four solid stars on Sephora's site. Um, but I've been really curious about this brand. And this keeps showing up in sales. It's a nice, affordable price. Uh, it's a rich cream, so it would be for dry skin. But I would, this would be one of the ones I'd consider if I were to be getting a, a face cream. This is a really, really cute charging pad. I have it from a prior box and it does not charge quickly. So, you know, if you keep it on your nightstand though and you put your phone on it and you sleep all night long, your phone will be charged in the morning. Um, or if you keep it on your desk and you, while you're working, you just put your phone there. Um, the one thing that is kind of annoying is it comes with this super cute blue um, cord that's also super short. So it's like three feet. And so it doesn't, um, I had to replace it with a, a one that's less cute. So that was kind of annoying. But anyway, it does work and it's, it's really pretty. Um, okay, what do I have constructive to say? Laundress detergents, very well loved. People say great things. I don't do the laundry <clears throat> in my house, so I'm not going to go and buy it and <clears throat> tell my husband he has to use it. He, he He's uh, the stay-at-home parent right now. Um, this Daniel Stone, I have their room spray from a prior box, and I do think it's quite lovely. I think they're based in Berkeley um but I do like the room spray that's all I have to say about that it's in Santal the room spray I have I feel like I remember seeing some reviews that this product could be damaging over time actually to your hair and have kind of a counter effect um definitely look into that if you're thinking about getting this <clears throat> I saw one person on the forum say something that kind of resonated, just like felt like good advice about all of these teeth whitening kits was that her dentist said the only real effective one is something like the Crest White Strips, which I've used and they are effective. And then all the rest of the really expensive ones are just really gimmicky. Um, and I don't know how true that is, but it just felt right. And I liked hearing it. <laughs> and I'm going to share that that's what somebody said on the forum about uh, um, about it on here in this video. I This is one of the things that I purchased a long time ago thinking, oh, I'm going to be so glowy and pretty. And I never use it. Um, this is the Ciate London. This one's also, it's very glittery. It was surprisingly glittery. And I think that's what I didn't really like it wasn't just like a, a soft glow. It, it felt like it had a lot of little glittery pieces in it. Oh, here's more. The Okay, so cuticle remover, cuticle oil. The illuminating nail concealer is like a semi-opaque, clean, kind of neutral kind of color. I have it. it it's nice. I like it a lot. Um, let's see what else. Uh, some people were saying on the forum that the NCLA nail polishes, nail polishes chip really easily, which is too bad. I think they're one of the, I, I don't remember how many free, but they're like 10 free or something. And, you know, they're, they do all the right things, I feel, as far as their practices. But, um, yeah, they chip really easily, apparently. People weren't saying good things about their nail polishes on the forum. Oh, here's... I, I talked about getting the Revlon version of this. The Revlon version is, like, $10 cheaper and is raved about it's available on amazon so if you just look for that if you're interested in getting this you know you can save 10 bucks and get it on amazon for revlon i know revlon's not cruelty free i 
I forget to think about it outside of like makeup and hair products. I forget to think about it. I also know I should I should think about it with like kitchen products and things like that more often. But it's a start going doing this with my um, hair care and, and makeup is a start. And then hopefully it will snowball. Okay, let's see. Here's the riddle. One person raved about this scent in particular. Like I said, though, people are saying good things about the riddle oil. Oh, uh, somebody said good things about these brushes. One person. This is also um, one of those nail polish lines that is 10 free or 12 free, um, but I don't know how it performs. I, no one said anything on the forum. Oh, what is this? $19. Curling and straightening brush. Oh, so when it comes to styling tools and um, things like that, I do recommend not buying it from here if you cannot find a lot of good reviews to support the purchase. If you can, then go for it. Um, but a lot of people have talked about having problems with electronics, especially, um, and then you get into kind of a nightmare correspondence with Fabfit Fun to replace the item. But um, I do recommend looking at Amazon if you are trying to find something like this, some place where you can return it easily if something goes wrong, uh, unless you can find a lot of really good reviews about that particular product that's styling tool. And then I would say the th same thing about electronics. Like if you can't find a lot of good reviews, um, and there are comparable items available on Amazon where you can return it, go with the Amazon one. Um, just, I've heard a lot of complaints about trying to work with FabFitFun to make good on whatever the problem is. <clears throat> What else? What else? Usually I have so much more to say. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've already talked. Oh, I looked up this one because I have curly hair, so I was curious about it. Um, not realizing it was $29, but um, I saw that it has a ton of reviews on Amazon and a lot of people, this is a leave-in conditioner, which is basically if you have curly hair, it's going to feel make your hair feel soft. Um, a lot of people were saying that it didn't necessarily define their curls as much as they thought it would. It did make their curls feel nice. The main complaint was that the smell was funny. And I couldn't find a review where anyone described what was funny about it, but a lot of people said they couldn't stand the scent. I don't tend to buy a lot of like accessories. These are these are other things where I feel like if you can you can probably find it comparably priced on Amazon or elsewhere. Um, so I just don't really take the gamble with getting something that could break from FabFitFun when it's hard to return things. Um, So I'm just looking for things where I know something about the particular product. I know a little bit about the brands. Um, if they're downright not cruelty-free, I'll point that out. But I'm just looking for things right now where I know about the particular product. So here's the other Holy Frog face wash that I talked about. 
uh, people really like it if you missed that earlier uh, people really love the holy frog face face washes people really love these be I, I keep wanting to call them beaker bottles so I'm gonna call it a beaker bottle um, some people do complain that the opening is a little narrow and it can be hard to clean uh, but that's most people who love it really love it I don't get them because I know that that would annoy me um, up front that would annoy me so um, I have the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara and it's amazing. I don't know about this mascara of theirs. Um, and then somebody else was really excited, not not really about Laura Geller, but about the Kajal eyeliner, which I don't know much about. If you know what what's Kajal eyeliner, um, I am very, very curious because I might look for it otherwise but uh, so that's what somebody is getting two of these just because of the Kajal eyeliner I don't I've, I've never heard of it before I would have looked it up and explained to you guys what it is but again I'm sorry this this video of mine is I'm, I feel like I'm not delivering as, as well as I usually do I like the Levito products I haven't used this one but I had a foot cream of theirs and a hand cream that I did like Israeli brand cruelty free Oh, the Huna. I this is something that I'm intrigued by. They're a Canadian brand. Um, a lot of people, a lot of good reviews. People say good things. I don't, I don't I actually don't know about a lot, but good reviews when I do see them, um, people say good things. I remember looking them up from a prior sale, and this is something that I'm kind of keeping my eye on. I don't have a lot of blemishes, so this particular serum I don't really need. Um, but that's a brand that I have my eye on for sure. Um, I've used some billion dollar brow stuff and it's pretty good. Dermalect, okay, so this, I mentioned that the Innisfree Rich Cream in this sale is something that I would consider getting if I needed a face cream. This is also something else that I would consider getting if I needed a face cream. I have noticed sometimes Dermalect will have ingredients that I'm not so keen on. This one on a spot check, I feel like it looks okay-ish. I would want to look into this palmitate um, because uh, it, palmitate can mean palm oil, which just I want to make sure it's sustainably sourced. Um, anyway, so this would be something that I would look into if I were looking for a face cream, but I'm not so not getting it but Dermalect products seem to be pretty effective uh, like I said though I, I do keep a close eye on their ingredients when I do consider their products hand skin this is the same brand that makes the wonderful wonderful essence the Hyalurana essence I love it so I was thinking about getting this but I have another glow mask that I am um, crawling through so I don't need a glow mask um, this is another shimmering glowy product that I just oh I want to try it so much maybe if I go into uh, Ulta they would have a sampler but I want to try it so much and I've read uh so you can read reviews on it on Ulta and the trouble therapy line of skin and co tends to have really really good reviews in general they have a whole bunch of products in that line um so i'm so so intrigued by it but on, on the reviews on Ulta people say it smells really nice too uh algenist is not cruelty free I think that the Sephora site might say that they are, but I remember learning otherwise that they're not. Technology from San Francisco. That's weird. Usually something San Francisco based would be cruelty free. And also if it says vegan, that doesn't, that doesn't mean implicitly 
that it's cruelty free that just, that could just mean vegan products but if it's sold in places like china then it's not cruelty free Um, I don't see a lot of jewelry available in the sale. I think that they're doing flash sales where they're putting a lot of the clothes and maybe even jewelry um, into other sales. But anyway, something that I always say is that if you're interested in jewelry, just make sure you're okay with the materials it's made out of. Sometimes for the price, I don't think that it's worth something that's made out of brass. Um, so that's how I feel about the jewelry. So just make sure to check the materials if you're looking at something with jewelry and make sure it's something you're okay with if you have sensitive skin that you're not it's not going to break you out all of that kind of stuff this hat is so very cute and if I didn't have an exceptionally large head I would probably get it well I don't know maybe I would be it would be in my cart and I would be um, in turmoil for a little bit and then I'd probably delete it that's probably what would happen <laughs> um, okay immunocology is a lovely line they are very expensive. A lot of it is due to the fact that they use, they have a lot of integrity when it comes to their sustainability practices and fair hiring practices and all of that and using the best ingredients possible. So when you think about all of those things, it kind of makes sense that their prices are so high because you're supporting all of that. And they go do a lot of work to make sure that they have um, great formulations. And it is founded actually by a cancer survivor who wanted to make a line that was really, really high quality and didn't have any products that could possibly be carcinogenic. So I do, I do like the line. It, there's something very intriguing about it. I have this. I haven't tried it yet, but I bought it because people said good things about it. And I um, was almost done with my sleeping mask, but I'm still not done with it, so I haven't tried it yet. Here's another immunocology. I tried a different Sinaj kind of package that they had once, and I wasn't terribly impressed. I did, I, oh, it did have the vitamin rich cream, this one in it, the actual like full size tub. And I did like that. It smelled slightly like creamsicle, which is usually a turn off for me, but it was, um, it was a good, it was a good moisturizer, especially for my dry skin, rich cream. When it says rich cream, that's for dry skin. Um, but the other products that I tried that were in that package didn't really wow me. They, they, like, they were unimpressive. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I have this in my stash, this, uh, whipped cleansing cream. That's another, like, creamy cleanser so like milky this isn't a milk cleanser but kind of along those lines and good for dry skin this is a gommage so that's an exfoliant so you could use these kind of together skin and co truffle therapy line has great reviews they're all i think you can find all of it available on ulta if you want to look into it more but good reviews for those those products on ulta in general Great in skincare. I'm excited. I bought a milky cleanser that I'm going to use pretty soon here from them uh, in the last sale that people are saying really good things about. This is a Canadian brand that just started being available <clears throat> in the FabFitFun sales, I think like two or three sales ago. And uh, people seem to be excited that it's available now and liking their products. Here's another Graydon Skin Care product. It's founded by a yoga master chef, I think, in Canada, if I remember correctly from what I studied last sale. It 
There's more Sinaj. I think there are better facial oils available. I haven't tried it. I just, like I said, I tried, it was like four or five products available in that bundle and I liked the cream, but the rest of the stuff I was unimpressed by. That's probably a decent facial oil. Oh, the Psalm Institute. This is uh, another brand that I'm very, very curious about. I don't need to buy more cleansers, and I'm more curious about the Holy Frog cleanser, so that's why that's in my cart. But um, I'm very curious about the Psalm Institute stuff. I, I remember seeing good reviews about their products. Where are they made? USA. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're eyeing that, that might be good. I feel like people do say good things about the Foxy Bay stylers. Like I said, uh, you know, make sure if you're going to get a, a styling tool that you can find reviews to support it. I feel like I've seen good thing about good things about the Foxy Bay stylers. I did get a new me straightener on here that I love um, because there were reviews on it. that I see a lot of people in the forums who are eyeing something and they're in turmoil over where to get, whether or not to get it because they can't find reviews and they're asking people. And I'm just like, you know, if you can't find reviews on it, don't get it. Just move on and find something like it that has good reviews. Lots of gadgets and stuff like that. I don't buy any of that. Air. I used their face wash. This doesn't have their face wash in it. I didn't like it at first and then it grew on me. They're a New York based company, Culty Free. Here's more Graydon skincare. Okay. Okay, here we are with the out of stock items. I'll go ahead and talk about them anyway. Uh, definitely use that favoriting trick I showed you earlier if you're trying to snag something and you didn't know about it. <clears throat> Good chemistry. A lot of people are saying that they're at CVS and, and Target and that you can go and smell them if you're interested so that you know if you like it. Um, the waxy stuff, I remember seeing horrible reviews about it. People were saying awful things about it on the forum um, when it first became available, but then I started to see some better and better things set about it. So I wonder if there's kind of a learning curve to using it. Um, oh, people are saying really good things about this. And I almost bought this once in a sale. This is in my cellar water. And somebody asked on the forum what a my cellar water is. So if you don't know what it is, it's basically the same stuff that's on your um, makeup wipes. So you can get micellar water and then pour this onto a reusable makeup removing um, cloth or or whatever, and that way it's less waste. So um, this is K-Beauty as well, I believe. Yeah, I, I was really eyeing this, and there are some good reviews out there on it. I'm gonna favorite that and see if I can go ahead and snag it. Although, I don't think I need it now. I think I went and bought another one. I'll double check, but. I've done my fair share of yoga, and I'm kind of picky about my mats. 
it's hard. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this, um, because I, it needs to be a good thickness. This says it's three inches thick, which it, it can't be three inches thick, but, um, I, I don't know. It looks like it could be a good mat, but I, if, as someone who's done their fair share of yoga, I would say, you know, it's better to like feel the mat and try it out before you, or try out a few mats before you go and buy a mat. It really can make a difference between a good yoga session and a terrible one. So I don't know about that. Again, gadgets, I would just, I would I tried. To, I, I don't think I've ever purchased an electronic gadget other than my hair straightener. And it just seems better to buy it somewhere where you know you can return it. Um, oh, here's the Living Proof Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the shampoo and conditioner version of that hair mask I was talking about. I'm actually using this right now. This is a really great um, shampoo and conditioner. Really well liked. I do... I feel like I've seen some people say that Living Proof can weigh their hair down, and I could see that being the case if you have fine, thin hair. Um, it does actually seem to weigh my hair down a little, which it doesn't really matter because I have very fluffy hair. Um, so I could see that happening if you have very fine, uh, thinner hair that tends to get uh, greasy easily. <laughs> More good chemistry. Go see if you like it at CVS or Target. It's so pretty, the bottle. And then here's another Innisfree product. Um, Sephora reviews. Okay, so this is the um, Ilia tinted lip conditioner that I showed you in my intro. Uh, it was on my lips. It is very much just like a high quality tinted chapstick very high quality. I used the Nelson, Nelson J shampoo and conditioner and I was fairly unimpressed. It wasn't terrible. I've used worse. Um, it smells like kind of like beachy, like makes you want to go to Hawaii. It has that kind of coconutty smell, not overwhelming, pleasant smell. Um, I do feel like I've seen people say really good things about their moisture mask though in the past. A lot of people have said that they liked it. Um, so that's my review there, but if you want a, a fairly cheap um, bundle like this and you don't care if the shampoo and conditioner are just okay, then you'll be fine. <laughs> um, here's more Ilya. These are reviewed on Sephora. Each of these products are like a solid four stars. Um, I bet if you need something like this, I bet this would be a lovely thing to purchase. I would totally purchase it if I didn't already have two lip scrubs and two um, lip moisturizers for, uh, you know, nighttime lip moisturizing. <laughs> Oh, people were talking about the beach waiver and that they really like this. I think this is one of those ones that automatically turns so you don't have to turn your hand or wrap your hair around. Um, it doesn't explain it here. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> now I'm doubting myself. I'm moving on. Okay, here's another tinted lip conditioner from Ilia in a different color. The other one is like a red. This one looks more neutral. <clears throat> oh, here's another Huna serum. I would get this if I needed a serum. I bought like three serums in the last sale, so don't need a serum. And here is the Ciate London Glitter Flip Duo that I had talked about. Um, I have different colors. Um, these are very bright colors, very sparkly. This is like New Year's Eve or if you're a man who likes to dress in drag a lot. Otherwise, I or, or if you rave, like a raver, like I, I try to imagine like situation. This is where it really shows up. This, it's very glittery. And these like this like bright pink and bright red. 
So um, if that's your style, if you go to if you go places where that would be something you would wear, then yes, get it. But if you are just looking for like a nice red and a nice pink, so these are very, they're just so glittery. <laughs> I was really surprised when I bought them, how glittery they were. Um, and that's it. We're at the end. Um, so I hope this was helpful again. Yeah. I, usually I have a lot more to say, but, um, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video.